Hey guys, it's Karma here doing a recap and thoughts about season one, episode two of Dollhouse called Target. And I'm sorry this is late, but I've been really busy, so here we go. So the episode really, first of all, let me get this out of the way. This was actually supposed to be the pilot for the series, as far as I know. And um, the pilot we saw originally was added on later. So I kind of prefer this as the pilot, but what are you going to do? So it starts off giving a flashback to three months ago when a doll, um, I don't know how to put that, an active called Alpha basically murdered everybody um, or a lot of people in the dollhouse. He went crazy and I guess he, um, he got multiple... Um, imprints. I guess he got a hold of some and just went crazy on people and killed them all. And he left Echo though. He left her alive because she's sitting in the shower um, wondering what has happened. She says these people won't wake up because she doesn't really know they're dead. She doesn't know what that means. And so he left Echo and that's going to come back later. I'm hoping, um, I'm super excited about a bigger theme of the series. Boyd Langton is the guy who's basically Echo's handler. He's the guy who watches after her in the truck and like takes her back to the dollhouse um, to wipe her memory. And it had flashes back to when he first started working there. And um, he doesn't really want to get attached to Echo, but later on we find out that he does. He actually has to read some sort of script when she's in that chair where that wraps her memory. And he says, um, everything's going to be all right. And she says, because you're here now or something like that. And it's a script where now it's imprinted in her memory that she has to trust him no matter what. So even when her memory is wiped, whenever she sees him, she kind of knows who he is and knows he's going to take her back. So that's where he comes in. Um, Echo goes into the woods. A, a man, like, imprints, or he rents, I don't know how to put it. He gets Echo, um, and she's like, they imprint her with, like, hiker and, like, like, a rock climber and a camper. And so he goes out with her for the weekend. And he teaches her how to hunt with an arrow, bow and arrow, kind of like a crossbow. I don't like know exactly what you'd call it. Um, and then he finds we find out that he's going to hunt her down. So he goes, I'll give you five and a head start. And the um, Boyd is in the van watching over Echo, but the connection gets lost. So he doesn't really know what's going on. And then a sheriff comes up and basically kills the other guy that he's with. And Boyd kind of strangles, not strangles, but like does like a chokehold on him and makes him pass out. But he still has no connection with Echo. So he goes and finds her and she's running and she goes to this um, abandoned house where she finds the real sheriff. He's dead. So the hunter kind of had a guy kill him for him, I guess. And she drinks some of this water, but it's tainted with something. And she starts seeing visions of her past, who she originally was, and some of her other personalities that she does. She doesn't really know what's going on, but that's going to come in the future because she's starting to see, you know, that she's been other people before. Um, Boyd comes with her and he says, um, he meets her and she goes, I don't know you. And he goes, everything's going to be all right. And he gives her that script again so that memory trigger comes up and she goes, because you're here now. So she automatically trusts him, but he gets shot with the bow and arrow. So Echo is really mad now. And Boyd says again, he goes, everything's going to be all right. She goes, no, it's not. And he's like, didn't you hear what I just said? And she's like, it's not going to be all right. So she's starting to become a personality of her own when she's imprinted, which is kind of cool. She doesn't give the response that she's supposed to. She goes and she ha she gets a gun from Boyd and there's kind of a standoff between her and the guy with the crossbow. And um, she wins because she's awesome. <laughs> and also the agent, I forget his name, it escapes me right now. He um, finds what's left of what happened in the pilot, all of the, uh, at the, that house and the one that they broke into last time to get the little girl when Echo went in there when she was um, Miss Penn. They found the house and he says things aren't adding up here and everybody is still teasing him because they don't believe in the dollhouse, but whatever. And he gets a folder that says keep looking and it has Echo's picture in it. Ah, so someone's helping him. Um... And, oh, by the way, the hunter, when he kept telling um, Echo that his dad always told him to keep his shoulder to the wheel, and he kept doing this the whole time, so remember that, it's going to come back. And um, so we find the body of the fake sheriff that um, Boyd may pass out, but he's dead. And Boyd says, I didn't leave him this way. And the physician, played by Amy Acker, she says, um, these incisions are precise, something went on here. 
and he remembers back to when Alpha went crazy and he found a body where the precision where the incisions were very precise on how they killed him. And so he goes, It was Alpha. And she's like, No, 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 they killed him. And he's like, We'd like to believe that, but he left Echo alive out of everybody. And um he left Echo alive and he saw that she was in danger and he went after the person who put her in danger. So that's people are thinking Echo's still alive. And, um, or Al Echo, <laughs> Alpha. Echo, um, gets her memory wiped and she's walking and the guy who's like second in command kind of teases her and he says, you don't remember anything, do you? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then at the very end, she turns around and she does this, that shoulder to the wheel thing. And then the episode ends. So that was kind of cool because she, she remembered how to do it, um, but she has no memory. So she's becoming aware. It was a good episode. I, a lot better than the pilot. I'm just saying, I wish this one had they stuck with the pilot. It, was, it gave a lot of answers to questions, but still left some open. I like the whole alpha thing. Um, but yeah, it was a good episode. Like I said, I wish it would have been the pilot, but what are you going to do? So that's my recap and some little thoughts. Sorry this video is up late. I've been celebrating for my birthday, if you can't see the balloon back there. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Kyle XY. Please subscribe, and that's it. Bye! Don't forget to watch the Oscars tonight. <laughs> Bye!